Hi there, I'm Bobsy, and this is pretty much a video number zero in a very short series of how to do multiplayer networking in Unity and how really easily to get started with this setup. Now, the reason why I chose to make a video zero is because there's a few things I want to explain and I don't really want to use that time in the actual video since I know that the attention span of people searching on YouTube is very short. Um, so just to get started, this is video zero, the summary of what we are getting into in the series and also just a very brief introduction to the networking tool we're going to use. Video one is going to be the initial setup uh, and also just looking at quickly how to network your movement. Now video two is going to be remote procedure calls, also known as RPCs, which just means sending information via the network. Video three is going to be spawning and for that sake also despawning objects over the network. And number four is going to be synchronizing variables over the network. Now there might be more videos after this point. I'm not going to say that it's only going to be four to five videos, um, but this just means that anything past this point is most likely going to be per request. If I, for example, see the question in the comments, I might end up just making a video showing how you do this instead of trying to explain it to every comment. Now, the network that we're going to use is called Fishnet, and I chose to use Fishnet since it's really simple out of the box, um, but it seems like a really great solution for scaling a project as well. It has existing solutions to move to, for example, Steamworks if you want to run on the Steam network later on, but also has the ability to run dedicated servers and also act like a host client setup, which means you can host it by just running the game. Uh, this provides great flexibility to us as the users of Fishnet since we don't really have to decide now what we want to do. This doesn't really leave you with a lot of thinking to do since you can uh, just run the same code but with a different option later on. So if later on you choose, oh I want to do a dedicated server, it's basically the same setup. Or, oh I actually want to run on Steam servers, it's basically the same setup. Uh, and also I chose Fishnet because the community just seems great. And I really advise you to go check out their Discord. And they seem like such nice people, they're always willing to help. And well, last thing I want to say is if you have any questions throughout these videos, feel free to comment them down below. I am no networking guard by any means, but I'll absolutely do my best to solve your issue. Um, yeah, that's basically it. And uh, I hope I see you in the first video.